Hello fellow survivors, this is your buddy RV Guy back again with another quick video review. And today guys, I have something that was sent to me by a company called Under Armour. You know Under Armour that makes all the sporting good equipment? Well, Under Armour has teamed up with The Rock. That's right, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Under Armour has teamed up with The Rock and The Rock is endorsing his own line of bags. Backpacks and hip bags, shoulder bags and different type of bags. And um... What they sent me was, let's take it out of plastic here. This is the Rock's hip bag or shoulder bag, depending on how you want to wear it. I've seen videos where these guys, some guys have put it over their shoulders. Uh, some guys have worn it on their hips or whatever, but this is a nice size bag, guys. Um, you can see in the front, it's got the Brahma Bull, the Rock's emblem on there. All right. It's got the Under Armour tag here. And this this line of stuff is called Project Rock, okay? These are the Project Rock line of bags. Now, when we first look at this bag, it looks kind of like a military bag. It's got molly webbing where you can put stuff on the front, right? It's got a pocket here with a zipper. When I like these red tags on there because the bag is all black and it lets you see how to unzip the bag. The first pocket is like a double pocket. There's a divider. You can put stuff here or here, which is cool. All right, um, the next pocket over to the side, it says here is insulated pocket. Let's see, ah, okay. If you look inside here, there's, if you feel it, there's a padding and kind of a plastic reflective uh, inner. And I guess you could put water bottles in there or something cold to keep fresh, right? Which is also cool or anything you want you can throw in there. It's very deep, it goes all the way from here to here, okay? And the next pocket is a great big pocket where you can put, you know, whatever you want, a tablet, your wallet, maybe even a firearm, all right? Um, it has a handle. We can carry it this way if you want to, which is nice. And it also has a very long strap, which you can put around your waist or, you know, over your shoulder, over your neck, over your shoulder for like a shoulder bag. This is a nice bag, guys. It's made of a strong canvas, military-type canvas. And uh, it has the red pull tab, so you can see how to open it in a hurry, if need be. And this is a good bag, I think, for an EDC bag, guys. Everyday carry bag with emergency equipment. Um, we see what's going on with these hurricanes in Florida and uh, all the people trapped in the mountains in North Carolina. Um... If you carry an EDC bag, everyday carry, with just some stuff in it, you might be able to just help yourself out in an emergency or help somebody else out. You know, if you get hurt, if you get wounded, <coughs> excuse me, if you get hurt or wounded, um, you've got your own stuff that you can use, all right? So let's see how we can accessorize this bag, guys. Okay, guys, this is what I came up with. Now, before we get into the uh, description on how I accessorize this Project Rock survival bag, I want to let you guys know one thing. There's no one way to make a bag, okay? You will have the basic things like lighting, fire starting, uh, a knife, a uh, saw, things like that that you will need. But there's things on the inside of your bag that you might need. Um, you might need more medication. You might, you might live in an area where it's colder. You might need... Uh, you know, a warm pair of gloves you might want to throw in there. You might need, you know, different things. So you make the bag according to your needs and your environment, but make sure you have the basic things. So in short, there's no right and wrong way to do it. Just make sure you have what you need to survive and be comfortable, guys. Okay? Now, this is how I set up this bag, guys. On the carabiners here, let me pull it a little bit closer so you guys can see it. I uh, attach things, the basic things that I would need to get to right away all right we I have a cursor blade knife here I have a flashlight down here okay I have emergency lighting flares so you know the kinds you shake and snap and they light up all right um Leatherman tool very important Gerber this is my Gerber suspension they, there's Leatherman's also um these things are great guys because you only not only get saw blade knife screwdriver uh, you name it can opener it's all in one tool and it'll come in handy, okay? Down here, I got a carabiner with some cord, cordage, 
cordage is always good to have. You never know when you have to tie something down. And I got about eight to 10 feet of cordage down there wrapped up. Um, a lighter to start fire. Now, this is a refusable light, a uh, re reusable, refillable, well, uh, excuse me guys, a refillable lighter. It's like a little mini torch and it has a little cap on it. You can get these anywhere, Amazon or corner stores or whatever. They sell them and they're refillable. See right down in here, you can refill this back up and it lasts a long time and gives like a little torch with a high degree of heat. That's why I like it. Also have my waterproof matches up here. Okay, now over on this side, I have a flat saw, all right? Flush cut flat saw, good for cutting wood. Speedy sharp sharpener right here. And here, I did a little bit of something creative. Sometimes it's good to be creative because you save money. This was, let me take it out and show it to you guys. This was a Trident um, gum case. They come in these little plastic cases. But inside the case, all right, I've got a wire saw, a uh, mini fishing kit with line seekers, hooks, um, and a little, I don't know if you guys can see that, a little, uh, looks like a little shrimp, right? A little bait there. And a flint fire starter, okay? And it all fits down in this little plastic case. All right, and all I did was attach it to the uh, the carabiners in the back with the keepers here and a, some elastic, and it holds it in place and it doesn't go anywhere. And it'll stay dry and it's ready for me to use whenever I need to. Okay, and it, and it slides right in place, and it's not going anywhere. All right, sometimes a little bit of imagination goes a long way. Now on the inside. All right, we got some hand sanitizer. Poncho for the rain. Uh, a little mini survival guide. It's always good to have something to read, you know, because let's face it, we don't know everything. We're not um, almanacs or encyclopedias. Sometimes in these reading things, you you, you read these things and they, uh, they help you out. They help you out, give you information so you don't make a vital mistake, okay? Oh, uh, what else we got here? We've got some latex rubber gloves and some face masks. Now, guys, we saw how important the hand sanitizer and the face mask and the gloves uh, came into play with COVID. Who knows what the next thing will be? I got a funny feeling it's going to be something where we're going to need these things again. So if you got... A little bag like this in your car or in your hip or over your shoulder or however you want to do it with this stuff in it you're gonna be all right you don't know who you're gonna come in contact with are they gonna sneeze on you or you're gonna to touch something and then rub your eyes with your hands you can sanitize you know sanitize your hands whenever you touch something a bus train um, anywhere doorknob the, 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 the door to a store sanitize your hands right kill the germs and protect yourself okay what else we got here? We got a mini first aid kit. Now, I'm not going to take everything out of this first aid kit, but I got a lot of stuff in here. I've got um, band-aids. I've got liquid band-aid, liquid bandage. I've got Q-tips, and I've got gauze, and I've got sutures, and I've got a whole lot of different stuff, guys. Um, this is important because you could do your own first aid, okay? I also have got Tylenol in here, and I've got NyQuil and DayQuil if I catch a cold. Tylenol to relieve pains. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Eye drops. Um, yeah, a mini first aid kit is always good to have. Okay, right here. And that's it for the front pocket. But you know what? You can also throw maybe a small washcloth, some deodorant, and a bar of soap in there too, guys. All right? So you've got something to clean yourself up with. Okay? Now... On the side of the bag here, there's another pocket. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is an insulated padded pocket. And it says on the website, you can fit 16 full ounces bottle of water. It just so happens I have one here. Now, you go. I think you can even fit two of them. Yeah, let me see if we can throw another one in there. All right, this one, I have another one, another bottle. There we go. You can put 16... 
two bottles of water, right? Two 16 ounce bottles of water, guys. And, and that's good. That's good, right? You can freeze them, zip it up, and you always have water. Okay, let's take these out. All right. Also, we got another pocket in the back here. Now, in the pocket back here, I didn't put anything at, but use your imagination, guys. Look how big this pocket is. You can throw an MRE in here. You can throw a firearm in here. You can, uh, pair of socks, fold up a pair of underwears and a t-shirt, and have a set of clothes in case, you know, you want to change, freshen up. That's the, that's the beauty behind this Project Rock hip bag, the size of it, all right? On the back of it, it's got the padding I showed you before, and I want to show you guys what I did, all right? Now, these are the straps that come with the bag. You guys can see that? It says blood, sweat, uh, with the rock emblem on it. Project Rock, blood, sweat, and tears, I guess. This is the strap I put on it. All right, a lot bigger, a lot thicker. You guys can see this here. A lot thicker strap. And I also put a shoulder pad. These pads are from Raid A4. It goes right around the strap because if you want to put a lot of stuff in here, you want it weighed down on your neck. If you want to wear it like a sling bag, a crossbody sling bag, you don't want it weighing down on your neck, guys. These pads here will go right over your shoulder and your neck. It will take the pressure off and wouldn't give you pain. You won't have a stiff neck. It won't cut off circulation. All right, now you can either wear this around your hip, over your neck. I just wanted to uh, make it a little bit more sturdy. All right, sorry about that, Rock. I had to cut your straps off, so don't um, people elbow me or rock bottom me, okay? But again, I just want to show you guys something you can do with this bag turn it into a nice little survival bag if you wanted to um they do have this bag on amazon this was sent to me by under armor big shout out to you guys under armor and yeah with a little ingenuity and a little imagination you can make yourself a nice little survival bag and it's a nice size guys it's a nice size okay it's a nice size for all your stuff all your stuff goes inside of it everything fits all right and there's still room to spare and you can even put water or MRE, granola bars, you know, get creative. Get creative and do what you got to do. And you still have room for your firearm if you want to carry it that way, okay? Um, you can carry it over your hip. You can carry it like this, right? Like this. Okay. You can carry it a number of ways, guys. It's just a nice bag to have because of the size. There are other bags out there, hip bags and shoulder bags, but they leave a little bit to be desired. This one is built nice, strong zippers, has a lot of molly webbing, and you can accessorize it. Now, you don't have to do it the way I did it. You could do it the way you want to do it. That's where the fun part comes in. So, this has been your buddy RV Guy with the review of the Project Rock Survival Bag. That's what I like to call it, guys. The Project Rock Hip Shoulder Sling Survival Bag. Until next time. Peace.